What's up, everybody? This is Love for the Streets, and you're watching the Ride Along. Ride with us, slide with us, come vibe with us. Stay cruising with real hitters and dime pieces. Ain't nobody else comparing to the things we young. You got love for the streets, why don't you ride along? Ride with us, slide with us, come vibe with us. Stay cruising with real hitters and dime pieces. Ain't nobody else comparing to the things we young. You got love for the streets, why don't you ride along? All right, everybody, so we're back out here in San Diego. Today we're featuring this beautiful car, and I'm gonna let the owner introduce herself. Hi everybody, this is Melanie Solorio um, from San Diego, California, uh, introducing Maton 58 from Click Car Club. Alright, so what do you say? Then let's roll. Can we take a ride? Let's go. So let's start off this interview with what's the history of you and George mm -hmm. with this car? Uh, the history is one day I came home from work and he said, um, hey, I bought a car today. <laughs> and I said, oh, you did? What kind of car? And he said, a 58. And I assumed, oh, wow, you got your 58. All right, that's cool. Is that what he always wanted? Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. That, he said, that's the granddaddy of all oh, cars, okay, yeah. right? So I said, all right, cool. I was excited. I wanted to go see it. So he took me out to uh, East County out here in, in San Diego to go see the car. And uh, it was a rust bucket. Oh, wow. I said, you drained our bank account? Like $32,000 for basically a rust oh a shell. God. So I was like, oh my gosh, no way. Did you have one of those like wife moments? <gasps> I was like, oh man, I was expecting it to be done. Uh. So from there, um, we just decided we're gonna go make a right. We just decided uh, yeah. we were gonna start our project together. Okay. It was gonna be a project that he and I um, no. collaborated with. But, but prior to this car, he had other cars. We had our 64. Uh, yeah. That one we also did together, but that one was more all him, mm -hmm. all his choices. Uh, the kids were little, so they got to participate in the mm. build of that car. Okay. Um, and in order for me to be part of them, I had to be part of that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so then I started learning about the culture and, and, and the cars, and um, I became a fan. Oh, yeah, all right. I mean, I, I can't imagine anybody that wouldn't be a fan of this, because it's fun. It's, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. And the kids were little, and they loved going to shows. They loved going up on stage and grabbing the trophies. Oh, and, yeah. And that made our day. Um, but this one, um, it became a, a, a huge project that I wasn't totally expecting. Oh no. I think nobody does. No. I think anybody that knows about building cars, they don't, they can't, they don't say, oh yeah, I just, it'll be in paint for a month and, yep. you know, and I mean, if you were a painter, I mean, if you have a car and it was in paint for a month, man, right. you're one of the lucky ones. You're, okay, you're, you know. you're definitely lucky. We were on a wait list. Oh wow. For a year uh, with Bert, the Chevy shop. Okay, he's the one that. Uh... He's the one who uh, did all the. First, we took it to the Albas. They cow blasted. Um, they sand blasted it, and okay. then we took it to Bert. He did all the body work. Um, and was the, it the in paint. bad shape, the body? It wasn't in that bad shape, but the quarter panels were pretty bad. Okay. So it was. There was some little, little bit of rust spots and um, some stuff that we needed. It needed okay. some work on. Um, so my husband and I would go up there. Um, at least once a month. And it's and a check drive. On the oh yeah, it's a drive. He's in El Monte. Yeah. Um, so we would go up every, every I don't know, once a month to check on the, the progress. And let me ask you, so during that process, that time, uh -huh. did he have the 64 still? So his mom had passed away um, five years ago, and this car actually became his uh, motivation to mm. build a new one. He sold the 64, mm. and, and we began to work on this to kind of... Um, get his yeah. mind 
busy. See, for a lot of people that know, like, like touching that subject is that, you know, people don't understand that sometimes this is therapeutic. Definitely, for him yeah. it was so some therapeutic. Some people, you know, in, in reality, look, some people, they go to alcohol, some people go to drugs, yep. uh, gambling, or whatever yep. way to cope with, like, losses or cope with, like, you know, yep. life-changing, you know, situations. Absolutely. But thankfully, you know, this is something that has helped a lot of people. Definitely. And, and I was happy to, to, to do whatever he wanted to do with it to help support him. I know a lot of wives, you know, sometimes aren't so supportive. They hide stuff from them. Yeah. Uh, we, I know exactly what in this car. I kept a log of like everything. That, that, uh, that post on Instagram, uh, that sound bite where uh, he's like, oh, how much was it? The girl's asking him how much was it? And yeah. he's like, they gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's one of those, right? Like, yeah. when he pulls up with this car, or <laughs> yeah. he's like, how much was it? Like, they gave it to me, you know? Right. Nah. Yeah. It wasn't like that at all. So I was happy to be there for the, for the, for whatever he wanted to do, just to help him get That's through beautiful. the loss of his mom. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we went to Bert and he said, you guys want um, original Continental kit, original skirts? Yeah. I said, yeah. Okay. I said, okay. So it's it's you hear the dollar signs <laughs> ringing, right? Okay. Yeah. It's going to cost you uh, 12 grand. Or you can get a repop for, you know, maybe six grand. And this was, you know, five years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I'm sure they're out there, up there. Um, and I said, now we want the, we want the the original. Yeah, of course. So my husband's grateful for me because I want everything original. When we got our our, um, our spotlights, our trail masters, yeah. I said I want the original ones. Now, when when you started, not not necessarily you yourself, but you as a team, uh -huh. when you guys started planning and putting the car together, yeah. did you know that this is what you wanted? those accessories those uh yep. this look this color like you already had envisioned something like that so in the beginning my husband decided he wanted black mm -hmm. and i said you know what black's beautiful there's some badass black cars out there i'm not hating but i said i want something that stands out that's a little different and uh, we were actually driving up to um bert's shop uh right after we got it from cow uh, cow blast mm -hmm. and um i saw a bmw on the freeway mm -hmm. and i said that's the color i want that i want that color for anybody wondering this is a BMW. It's a BMW color. color. <laughs> so I found that out because I saw the car driving. So then we went to a, a paint shop down here in Main Street, San Diego, and um, I went looking through a book. And I said, "This is the one. We're painting the car this color." And he jumped on it. He said, "Whatever you want, let's do yep. it." Um, so that's how we were able to. As a team, see, like yep. Everything the decisions, yeah, were made. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Wow. Yep. That's pretty dope. Uh, that's pretty dope. It, it, it was a team build, and I supported him 100. Whatever you want to do, let's do it. And, and I think that uh, compared to his old car, that yep. was a, a lot more, right? Yep. Airbrushed and stuff that like one that, had right? the big murals yeah. on yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. So murals. compared to that, um, for him to like kind of do this, but see, it's also like a car that you jump in the car, you turn it on, and yep. you go cruising, you go to car super shows. Because yep. this car has been on full display. Yep. Wait, wait, where, where was the first car shown at? I uh, was shown in the Arizona uh, show um, in 2021. Oh, okay. That was our first time. That's was that was that big? Out. Was that big for you? It was huge, and you know why it was huge? Because that's the first show we busted out our our '64 at as well. Oh, all right. Many years so ago. So it's kind of like a going back to to where it, where it started. To where we started. Our, okay. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what what uh, hydraulic system do you do you guys have in this car? Uh, we have four squares. Um, it's an original hydraulic setup. Uh, Ted Wells mm -hmm. uh, is the one who built our our setup. Uh, we have uh, six batteries. Okay. Simple. Um, simple, Clean. yeah. Okay. I like to swing, but he, he, he wanted something that, you know. Like, I'm pretty sure this car gets up, but I'm sure <laughs> George is probably like. Hey. Yeah, he's not a fan of me hitting the switches all the time. He's like, I'm going to break something. Yeah, honestly, it's because, look, <laughs> until you have hydraulics in your car, no yeah. offense to, like, airbags or none of that, right? Right. I'm, I'm seeing some airbag systems that are beautiful. Yep. But something about the, the feel, the, the juice, you know, just. Yep. And you're like you're like man you know like there's no other feeling to there's that no part. better yeah. feeling yeah yeah and yeah. it's like this it's like you and me personally you pull up to a stoplight and uh you drop it yeah. you lift it up you know and you see people looking at you and you give them a little show <laughs> yeah. because to them it's like i'm pretty sure you guys get a lot of thumbs up out we here, do right? and then you know what in in all honesty with the that's what makes our day right. we used to see like honks like yeah. that you know yeah. That right on cue, huh? Yeah. And that wasn't scripted, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. That makes you feel good. Older couples, this is from their time, they right. can appreciate 
uh, what we've done right. uh, to bring it back to life. Um, that's kind of our trophy. That's, that's another thing, um, and, and I've done uh, interviews with other guys with uh, with this year, you know, 59, um, and I feel like there's like, the, the history behind the car itself, it's something that's like, you know what I mean? Like, where was this car, you know, in 1970? Where was this car, right? Like, who, who sat in this car? Who drove it? You know, and I, and I feel like if it, it, it car, the car itself has, you know, its own identity. Definitely. Speaking of which, what's the story behind the, the, the name, Maton 58? So the Maton 58 comes from my husband. He said, I want to build something that kills it. It just uh, kills the For game. people that don't know, Maton is, is it means kill, killer. killer. All right. <laughs> So, um, so he wants something that they kind of you just look at it and you're like, damn, it's killer, it's killer, yeah, it's a killer 58. Yes, all right, that's where the name came from. That's right, original. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of a, of a, a 58 with that name, and uh -huh. obviously, the, the meaning behind it, right? Right, that is a really nice car, and uh, ever it's a beautiful car. The Thank moment you. I seen it, it stands out from a lot of other cars. You know the color, the clean, like it's so clean, it's so perfectly put together. I appreciate that. Yeah, like and I feel like if that's right there, that that from a fan point of view. I appreciate it. Yeah, you appreciate that's, it. That's that was our goal to get a car. You know, low riding has come um, so far from what it used to be when my husband began low riding. Um, you know, there's so many things, the engraving and the upholstery and the murals and everything. Um, the it undercarriage. Just keeps, the undercarriage. It's fully wrapped. Yeah. All right. Um, the framework was done by um, Israel here, a universal radiator. Okay. Um, so, I mean, just where the low riding has evolved, it's just become something so spectacular. Yeah. Like all this stuff. And it's and a worldwide uh, 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 culture. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we wanted something that we could bring out in 10 years and people are still like, damn. Yeah, yeah. That's it's historical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And now, especially case, now, like social media has played a big part, especially for us, right? Um, but at, uh, not for the streets. Um, social media has played a big part. Oh, oh. <laughs> so social media has played a big part in people from all over the world getting a little taste of what we have, of what we put together, of what we, you know, what you know, what you're building. Because I know it's like this, like you cannot help but to put a little you know behind the scenes or in the process working you know what I mean like and, and I know it's like a lot like you see like somebody's built a oh man you know he painted it red he painted it you know yeah. and or or, or or she bought she just got a new car you know and I feel like if like that's that's the, the beauty of like the worldwide you know right. culture right. where I have friends that are in Japan and they're building cars yep. and I get to see it like I might never see that car in person but it's like if I did because yeah. of social media right? yeah yep you can appreciate everyone and all the differences that they do in their car. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Their art. They're, it's, it's pieces of art. It's uh, what is it? Art on wheels. Art on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now you mentioned earlier that you like your switch happy. I yeah. I I love hitting switches. Right. <laughs> There's nothing like it. So let me ask uh, you. Um. Would you ever build something, or do you have something planned out that maybe? we're gonna be able to see you somewhere hopefully yeah that's my goal so 64 is my favorite year okay um i'll take a hard top or a, a, for a ride yeah of um, course. the way the car prices are going now yeah. i don't know if that's gonna happen but yeah. um it's it'll be in the works uh we'll be in something soon um okay. this one you know is just pretty just to cruise yeah. and, and and chill and show, i want yeah. something to break and something to to swing on the street yeah. and have fun i love that so is there, <laughs> is there some type of uh secret going on that we don't know about maybe in the works no secrets yet but it, we're, we're working on it all right we're working on it um, so hopefully, hopefully you soon. yeah yeah we get to see you out there in some video or something maybe that's like, that'll be another episode right there <laughs> where we get her Hopping right. the car, you know, back bumper and everything. You know who I love? I admire Kay from the door. Oh yeah. yeah. Man, she's bad. Yeah, and I feel like this, like see people like her. Yeah. Um she she's historical. Like she's somebody that if they had a, a book encyclopedia, yeah, she should have her own page because you know what I mean? Not only is she, you know, and, and props to her and Mikey and everybody over at the hot yep. shop, um, yep. that just because of number one is you know, this is a male dominated uh, Absolutely. Uh, uh, scene. Absolutely. And then you see women out there that are doing it just as much as a as a man, yeah. even better sometimes. Some, some, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
I can't hit the switches like her. You know what I mean? I can't yeah. catch it. I can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's so I, we, it, it, I, I, hopefully we never get into a hop off because I'll just <laughs> right. say, hey, you win. Yeah. yeah. The props to but you. uh, that's beautiful. And then and not only that, but like you get to see her, and then she inspires people. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So uh, what is George and Click like? What's the history between him and his club? So uh, George grew up in Logan, uh, which is down here in San Diego near Chicano Park. That's uh -huh. his neighborhood. Historical um, Chicano. Historical Chicano Park. That's right. Um, he grew up there as a kid. He would watch the lowriders uh, cruise to the to the park and, yeah. and hang out and have their meetings. And his goal and was daydream. to and daydream. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and so with our our sixty four, his his goal was I want to I want a lowrider magazine cover card. Oh, okay. That. As a kid, that's what he always wanted, yeah. and so we got that with the '64. So he, his dreams have come true. Everything that he grew up, uh, you know, wanting to do, he did. Thankfully, yeah. Uh, thank God yeah. For yeah. And Click is a uh, Logan-based. It's in that area. The San Diego. Uh, yeah. In chapter. San Diego, yeah. The San Diego chapter is uh, a lot of the members are there from from Logan. Okay. Um, and so that was just where he belonged. Yeah. Um, so he it was a no-brainer. No-brainer. Like, he to wasn't him. going nowhere else. Um, he uh, was an original, just a member mm -hmm. on the opportunity. He was an original member for two years, and then the opportunity came for him to uh, become president. Oh, okay. They gave it to him, and and, and we which talked is not, about which it. Which is no easy task to be president of a club, especially of a club of this magnitude. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Um, and he took it. And, and we rolled with it and I said, you know what? I want to make it a family thing. I want to bring the wives in. I want to bring the kids in because right. I want to be part of it. Right, right, right. Um, so we did that and we ended up getting a clubhouse and we'd have barbecues there. We do things for the community, for the, the children of the you know lower income areas oh. here in Logan. We'd uh, yeah. do Christmas parties, invite them, have so, Santa Claus roll So up. him growing up in the neighborhood, so this was a bridge for him to give it back to yep. his neighborhood. Absolutely. And some of us, it's like this. Um, that's the beauty of this. See, for people that don't or misunderstand what low riding is about, right. it's not just a car. Yep. It's everything that comes with it, like the camaraderie, yep. the family. The you're you're giving uh, the community that you grew up in, that you live in, uh, some way for you to give back to them. Absolutely. This. Yeah. Absolutely. And he, there's not one day that goes by that he don't he don't regret anything that he's done for this club. This this is his world yeah. he, he lives for this it's just as much as a part of like every day going to work and yep. you know having a dog you know or kids yep. it's same thing right same thing yep. That's right. he lives for this he bleeds this yeah and see for people that, that that don't understand especially that people that are you know maybe uh new to this that a lot of times um it's not just like a what you see on social media or videos music videos the car yes. in the back like there's there's more love to this there's more family to this there's yep. more you know like a uh, club member uh, is going through a hard time like yep. you're there to if help this you wasn't know. here there wouldn't be no way for you to have that connection with them, you know absolutely you love driving this car I love it <laughs> you get a you get a it's like a high right and my husband does too he said I love to see you drive it yeah. it makes me feel I've good. seen you out a couple of times I, I want to say at a uh, at your Park. show. Oh, and yeah, yeah, and, and at Elysia Park. Park? Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I always look at it like, man, that's dope, dude. Like, you know, me, I mean, I'm single, but I, I look at it, man, that's dope to see that, like, from a, man, just like a, a you know, you guys are my friends now, you know, yeah. and you guys, and I feel like this, man, like, like for, for, for me to put that out there for the world to see, like, come on, dude, like, like, we're good people, you know, we're family right. people, we're this, you know what I mean? This is a family thing, like, Absolutely. And, and if, if you're doing this and, you know, you're, you don't include your family, you don't have your uncles, your cousins, your nieces, your nephews in this, then you're doing it for the wrong reason. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Your wife, yep. you know, and it's like this, for all the wives out there, I mean, what, okay, I'll let you tell it. What would be a good message for, for wives that are not like you, per se? Like wives that don't support? Yeah. You know what? Um, I don't know. I, Tell them, you know what, you want to be with your husband and have a strong relationship, you got to work together. It's a team. It's a team effort. Especially if he loves um, this. If he loves this and you, you gotta, love your husband, you're going to learn to love this. Yeah. 
and um, that's what happened. I, I learned to love it. Um, <laughs> sometimes I'm more than him. Like, hey, there's a cruise in Van Nuys. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's roll. And he's like, oh, it's hey. a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work to haul. It's a, he and I are a team. Yeah. We we we. Um, I help him load the car, mm -hmm. hook up the trailer, unload it, get there to the cruise, load it back up. Right. Um, we got our system down now. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 we're a team. So uh, that, that's that's not. You know, other people have them. Um, other couples have other things, you know, maybe right. they have like movie night. Yeah. Uh, they have, you know, they go out and dance, which that's all wonderful. I, man, that's, I'm all for that, right? Absolutely. But in this case and in this world, this is what puts you together. This is the car goes down and it affects both of you. Oh, yeah. The car looks good. It, it affects both of you. It, it brings your spirits up, Definitely. you know, and um, a lot of people, you know, they, they might not have that to experience, but whatever they do, like love it you know if she like even for the husbands right like I, I could sit there and say if she likes you know shoes um uh, bags you know right right get into them you know yeah. like you're, you know you're not it's your wife you know support her yeah, exactly yep that's Definitely. what it's about supporting each other i'm glad you i mean honestly like uh you know for people that are watching why isn't george in here with us he's a little camera shy yeah you know but <laughs> i uh, usually do the talking yeah. for him what's that oh hi Hey, uh, <laughs> hi, Bird. Is a cameo? Cameo? Uh, <laughs> we have a cameo right here. Uh, say what's up to the camera. Uh, I'm a, I'm live, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, Nacho? What's up, number three? What's up? That's right. Shout out to Bird. Look at it. Uh oh. <laughs> Where's George? At the house, camera shy. You know how he is. Hi. No. It's all right. I got him. <laughs> Later, bro. Be safe. <laughs> and that's the, that, even that for people that are tuning in, that's the, that, that's the, the, the beauty of it. We all become family. Yeah. Uh, so I had a, I had a, a friend, uh, Rick, I did an interview with him in last season. Uh -huh. And uh, he said one thing and it stood, it stood out to me. Like, isn't it it's like things that we know, but we just have to hear somebody say it. So we're like, man, you know what? You're right. Like that is, he said that we all, we are all a part of one big car club. For real? Even though you're Click, Majestics, right. you know, my brother from high class, you know, I'm from yep. old club, but, yep. you know, I feel like, you know, I love you guys too, you know, yeah. and, I, and and those guys, and you know what I mean? Like, to me, I feel like if um, whatever happens with the whole car community, it affects all of us. Absolutely. The way we're portrayed, whether it be positive, negative, um, you know, shows, you know, people that pass away, uh, people that get sick, like, it affects yep. everybody. Definitely. It should, definitely, because um, if you're sitting there and you're from, you know, you're you're prideful, you know. Of course, you gotta have pride in what you what you have, what's yours. But I think that we're a brotherhood, you know, and sisterhood. Absolutely. Right. At yeah. the end of the day. That's at the end of the day, we're all family, and we all support each other. We should unite. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Not not be against each other or be hating on each other. Mm -hmm. it, it should be unite and, and encourage and, uh, everybody. Encourage yeah. everyone. Like when we went cruising a couple weeks ago for Big C's um, birthday cruise up there in Van Nuys, man, it felt so good, yeah. and everyone was out there having a good time, yep. man. They can pass by a beautiful car. We tell them beautiful car. Yeah. It lifts your spirit. Yep. Absolutely. It really makes you feel good. What does it feel like to you to be part of the uh, car show scene? Like I'm talking about super shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you know what? We we were big fans of, of the, the big shows and all that with our 64. Mm -hmm. um, we had our kids back then to help us. And now it's just he and I. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, now we see it differently than we did back then. Um, we, my kids love to go up there and get the trophy and mm -hmm. now it to me it's just a lot of work I like it because you you, you run into people that you don't always oh, get yeah, to yeah. see so yeah, that's if cool. those events wouldn't go on you wouldn't, you get wouldn't see, see those people yeah so those are cool but my husband and I now we've just decided we want to cruise mm. um, we'll still go to shows here and yeah. there you know why not we just see people without I guess to, probably having the the, like the man we gotta like, show, the show's over we gotta load up the car yes, we gotta pick up the stuff right it's super tiring mm. sometimes you're out in the parking lot for five six hours we've done that you're driving for six hours and then you gotta load up and go back home it's a lot of work so in regards to that yeah. I mean, to add to that so just kind of you get a little idea of, of love for the streets and how originally what my brother intended for for love for the streets to be uh -huh. is uh it was something where it was like to give back to people like us that nice. we stand in line for five six hours yep. to drive your car in you put the carpet down and you do the mirrors and you do the yep. display you 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 know you 
uh, book your uh, uh, detailer and you you're waiting on parts and yeah. you know whatever and for us love for the streets we want to show the appreciation to them because we know believe me i could sit here and i as a I, my car's not super show my cars haven't been super show worthy but i i love it just as much where i'll book my my room and i'll you know i'll fly out there or i'll drive out there and i know that it's it's, it's not just you know you work hard for that money that you spend you, you know you to yeah. display your car and then for them to just say oh you know bye thank you like us we didn't want to yeah. do that because at the end of the day um we wanted it to be where um we know we have to see you next weekend yep. you know we we want to know what's going on with you like we're here for you like we're not just some you're not just a, a registration on right, the paper. right right like exactly. you're a person there's a face yeah, yeah. and as i tell people like when, with the shows that we do we say ah, don't even worry about bringing the car just you come yeah you come you know like i want you to to come and experience have a good time you don't have to bring your car because the car doesn't make our friendship our relationship there you go and even That's if it's right. like you say like there's people that I don't see. If it wasn't for these shows, I don't even see them. But then there's new friends that I make too. Yeah. And I'm like, man, dude, like, and I keep up with them on social media. And yeah. I might not see them until next year's show, yeah. but I'm up to date with them. You know, how are yeah, you? you guys How's it going? Yeah. Way. And I feel like if, if this wasn't here, I wouldn't have those things. Absolutely. Um, for people that want, are wondering, what type of engine do you have in this car? We have an LS1. Okay. So it's not a Porsche. stock engine? Not a stock engine. She can haul ass. Okay, have you ever took it on the on the freeway? Oh yeah, yeah. we go on the freeway all oh. the time. My husband loves the freeway to show everyone that our, we're not a trailer queen. All right. We roll the streets. No offense to trailer no, queens. No offense, because we, we pull ours on a drive. trailer too. But we drive. ride ours too. Yeah, you gotta drive your shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, you gotta drive your shit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't have a piece of furniture just sitting there. Well, it's funny right? what my husband says. His quote is, you can't have a fine ass bitch and not be a motherfucker. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, so even that, uh, what type of rims are you riding on? Tires and rims. Okay, 520s, Zenas, 72 spoke, uh, skinny lace. Okay. So these are something that he wanted specifically. That's what he wants, that's all he wants. Yep. All right. And then the 520s, which are it's like if you wanna, if you say you wanna have a look there's, and be dangerous. You're doing both at the same time. Yeah, get 520s, right? <laughs> yeah, you're doing both at the same time. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for everybody, I don't know what it is. I mean, I love to hear. They're you know, beautiful. They look nice. Yeah. They're yeah. scary. But they're scary. And you know what's crazy? Uh, to add to that, uh, my uncles, they've been low right. They used to low right in the 70s and whatnot. They had Impalas, you know. It's like, man, Impalas were five grand, you know, whatever, right? And they used to drive all the way up to San Jose on 520s in the Impalas Damn. to cruise. That's crazy. And I'm like, man, that he's all, yeah. He's all, we. You know, in Spanish, it's nos pegaba la loquera. Like, we fucking... Crazy. Say, hey, let's go. It was, you want to go to San Jose? Let's go. They hop in the cars and take off to San Jose. That's on crazy. switches, That's on 520s, all the way to San Jose. We did that with our 64. There was an Anaheim show. Um, and we took our 64 and we drove it up. Um, and that thing, man, the... the it was um, fiberglass. It was heavy. The car mm -hmm. was heavy. It was fishtailing on our way up there. It was crazy. And my husband nice. was pulling the wheels, oh sweating. And, and that's a workout in itself. No joke. Because for people that 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 know how it is to drive a big car like this yep. on small rims, yep. which yeah, I wouldn't trade that for anything. No, no, we never did it. that again. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I'm saying I wouldn't trade that look. Like has to be on yeah. 13s, 14s. Yeah. You know, 13s, but to each his own, you know, yeah. Whatever but I think you 13s, right? Yeah, but right. I get it because right. I had a Cadillac and I put it on 13s, and I was like, man, maybe I should have just got the 14s, you know, right? But, um, I you gotta, it's a workout in itself Definitely. to say I got behind the wheel, I you know, the car's fishtailing, the car's doing this, that, and the other, but you're still there holding on for dear life, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but we made it, we yep. made it home, that's right. <laughs> Hey, will you do it again? Probably not. Uh, probably not. Yeah. We're a little older now, a little wiser. So everybody <laughs> that has 520s, hats off to you because Absolutely. it's yeah, it's an adventure. Um, so this is a particular year of the car. Now, a 58, 59, 60 even. Uh, they come with a lot of. They came with a lot of accessories. Yes. Uh, is that something that you have here throughout the car? Uh, we do. Um, of course, the compass. Uh, the Trail Masters. Uh, we have AC. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have um, the color bar. The color bar. We got that. Uh, we also have power seats. Oh, okay. Um, so those are just a few 
few of them. Um, all original. And it's never ending though. It because never you know, ends. As, as, <laughs> as, as George might know, uh, it's not something that, like you see it now and you're like, oh, I gotta get these and you know, I gotta get the original this. I mean, for the most part, the car is clean as it is. Yeah. You know, the original, uh, you know, in the dash you have the, you know, you know, obviously you have the, you know, the, uh, what is it, the Dakota, Dakota dash. The Dakota dash, you know? the digital dash. Yeah, of course, yeah. you have to, but, um, yeah. you know, everything else, he, he tried to keep it original. We wanted something, like I said, to pull out in 10 years and people are still like, damn, that's a badass car. Because things come and go in the lowrider yeah. scene, you know, trends. But this, um, this trend stays. This trend stays. You can pull this out and it's still Even like in regards to the interior, years. because it's, yeah. to me, from looking at it, you know, I'll let you tell it, but from looking at it, it looks custom-ish. Yeah with a little touch of old school original, right? And that's definitely what it is. So he wanted to keep it original, um, but we decided to go with a little custom. So we were able, he and I both uh, picked the, the swatches um, and had the seats custom made by Lindy's upholstery here in San Diego. Um, they did the, all of our interior for us. So it is a little custom, but oh, still with an old school and like original out, and It's like picking out tile for your house. Right? <laughs> People that don't know, it's like this. If you if you ever put a, a, a house together, it's the equivalent of putting a house together, there putting a car like this. Yeah, this, um, I could have probably paid my house off with the oh, car. Wow. <laughs> with the, the amount can of money. Say, all right, so um, can we say on record how much money has gone into this car? Yeah, it's over 200000 Sheesh. Close to three. Close to three. But it's everything he wanted, so we were all for Can you it. put a price on that? You can't. Okay. You can't. There's no price. It's priceless. To see the joy, like he's like a kid, huh? Oh, he's a kid. Yeah. That's and good. when we get in together and we cruise, because we'll take this out for breakfast sometimes. Just let's go to breakfast. Let's take the car. Both of us, we're loving it. Oh, yeah. Loving life. That's, nice. that's beautiful that this car exists. Therapy. This car existed for that. Yeah. For that purpose. It did. Absolutely. Yeah. Till this day. It's therapy. So there you go. Love your cars. Uh, love the people that support you. There you um, go because there's that's priceless you can never take that back you can never put a price on it you can't get grab that and sell it nope. it's something that's always going to be that bond you know and even though people have falling out you know couples and whatnot oh, definitely but it's like this you'll always you'll always have the 58 yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> she's our baby yeah our kids are grown well so it's a she it's a she even though it's my thumb. She's like, she's a side chick. Yeah. All right. She's a killer bitch. She's a killer bitch. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to see, we're going to see you with a, uh, with a uh, 64. Hopefully soon. I'm hoping soon. Lock yeah. We're going to yeah. see it. And I really like the color. Um, you already have the color. Oh, I want the color. So, uh, Chata from Low Bottoms, he's got mm -hmm. like the Desert Rose and he's oh, got yeah. that 58. That color of those cars, I, I'm They're in love. Man. There's a 64 that color that I'm. That's like a little pink, like yeah. salmon yep. color right now. Yep. Yep, that's what I want. That's right. We'll see. We're going to be breaking hearts and breaking necks and breaking, breaking ball, ball joints. joints. <laughs> right? That's, that's right. What was, uh, that, that's what that car is going to be built for. So. Yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. This one is just for us to cruise and enjoy and for people to admire. Yeah, night and day, right? Like, there you go. Yep. Final question. What do you think is the legacy that you and George want to leave behind for the next generation of car builders, car owners, low riders, etc. Uh, I would probably say is be united. Um, the legacy that Matt, we were a team. Okay. You can do it. You put your mind to it. It might take you a year. It might take you five years. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up on your dream. Because this was George's. Uh, I told him this was going to be his last build because <laughs> it, this was this put us through the ringer. Did he laugh? No. <laughs> He probably said, okay, it will be. No, he, he always knew. And then, of course, me, I want something to play with. Uh, so the legacy would just to be never give up. I want people to know that we were a team and we held it together. Um, we kept on pushing and, and dreams come true. That's right. Be strong. So whatever you your goals you set out to, to accomplish, don't give up on don't them. Give up. Yep. Yep. Whether you're a man, a woman, yep. youngster, old. You gotta... For the women out there, support your man. Be part of it. You'll have a good time. Yeah. You will not regret it. You will not regret it. No. Nope. Remember the men? For the men, 
Include your women, include your wife. Yeah, yeah. include your wife. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Because in the beginning, I wasn't always included, and I was like, okay, you became president. Now I'm going to be Do you included. think back and you say, man, I missed out on a lot of stuff, huh? Building the other car, putting the other car together, right? I was part of it, but I wasn't as a big part of, yeah. of this one. As, as I was with this one, that one I, you know, he he had all his own his own um, mind already made up of what yeah. he wanted to do with that car, and this one he included me a lot. Right. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? And we we sat together. Good for him. I mean, good on him because look yeah. at the outcome. Yeah. She good on him. That was a good call by him. Yeah. He's a good man. He knows what's good. <laughs> Anybody you want to thank? Um, you know what I th I want to thank Mids Mids from Majestics here in San Diego. He's the one who put our whole car together. Oh, all right. Um. He's an amazing car builder. Um, and I want to thank Bert from the Chevy shop. Um, he did our paint and he was uh, patient <laughs> with me. I went up and asked questions to him all the time. A lot, probably a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Um, and he was super patient, real cool dude. Um, our frame is fully wrapped underneath. That was done by um, Israel from Universal Radiator. So I want to thank him for that. Lindy's for the mm -hmm. upholstery. Um, Ted Wells, he uh, built our hydraulic. our hydraulic setup. Yeah, um, our battery rack was done by Weight Customs, which is here in San Diego. Uh, he did all the that custom work for us there. Um, and to our club, um, it's my husband's club, but I always say it's our club. I have it tatted on me. Um, I I'm, I'm not a member. They don't have women in their in their club, um, but I'm there to support whenever they need my support. That counts for a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that counts for a lot for yeah. for, for you to be a, a, a that's what we need. We need support. I help him plan picnics, uh, Christmas parties, um, our our 50th anniversary party. I, I help with, with all that stuff because it, it gives me joy, like to see if people happy yeah. and come together. So that's what we're all about. George loves bringing people together. So um, what about sounds? What's the playlist? What are you listening? What what do we hear through the speakers in this car? Uh, we have an Alpine system, and we hear um, kind of a combination of everything. He's got some. Who, he, who controls the stereo? I do. There you go. <laughs> we got some old school hip hop, like Tupac, Biggie. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we rep uh, Mitchie Slick, who's from, oh, here, yeah, yeah. from Southeast San Diego. San Diego. We rep a lot of him. Yeah. All right, so thank you very much for taking us on a ride. Um, we appreciate it so much, and uh, I hope you you like the the, the final product. Um, anybody that you want to say? Uh, yeah. uh, first of all, thank you for uh, taking the appreciation to come down um, and take the time out of your time to to come and, and um, admire our car. Uh, love for the streets. Um, we appreciate everything you guys do for uh, the community. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to our club, uh, Click San Diego. Um, I hope I made my husband proud. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So there you have it, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for next week's episode uh, where we're going to feature another beautiful car. Uh, until then, you already know, this is Love for the Streets, and you're watching the ride along. <laughs>